Guys, welcome back to my channel and welcome back to another What's For Dinner. If you're new here, my name is Mandy. So today is Monday and we are going to be having some beef sliders. Last week I did sliders with some leftover pulled pork. So this week I'm going to use some leftover roast beef and pretty much do it the same way I did last week, um, but with beef this week. And I think, um, I don't know. Girls, you want tater tots or fries? Uh, Checkers fries. Fries. You want fries? All right, so we're gonna do fries with it. So Bella had production today and she gets out of production around 345. And then we have to hurry home and she has, she's doing her homework now. And then um, we head out around in about 30 minutes. It's five o'clock now. We have to leave in about 30 minutes for soccer practice. And I just had a small salad for lunch, so I'm kind of a little bit hungry. So I'm gonna have some leftovers. This was last week, but I don't think I filmed this, or did I film it? I don't remember now. Um, I think I did, oh goodness. But this is um, beef sausage broccoli alfredo. I always get the name mixed up, but I'm just gonna I heat it up a little bit in a bowl so I can have it for snack and then we'll um, head out to soccer. I'm gonna go ahead and put everything together for the sliders and then I'll just put them in the refrigerator and then whenever we get home from soccer, I'll heat the oven up and rub some melted butter on the tops and get those going in the oven and the french fries in the air fryer. So that's the plan, Stan. I'm gonna go heat this up a little bit so that all the juices and everything, I can mix it up and then I'll put it on top of the uh, bread. Swiss cheese to go on top. We are finally back home from soccer. It is almost eight o'clock. I have my butter melted. I'm gonna go ahead and spread it on to the bread. All right, so I am going to put some aluminum foil on this cover it up, put it in the oven, let it heat up really good, and then I'll take the foil off and put it back in the oven for just a little bit so the top of it can kind of get um, even more brown or a little crisp on the top. Is it good, Belle? Mm -hmm. I would say so. <laughs> How about you, Ems? Did you like it? Yeah? Did you like the fries? Yeah? I don't like the hard fries. Daddy fries. ate up all of his food. I don't like the hard fries. The har I know. I burned a couple of them because I'm still learning how to do an air fryer. So the second batch was pretty good. All right. I'll see you guys tomorrow for another meal. It is Wednesday. I did not cook on Tuesday. We had so many leftovers in the refrigerator. I wanted to get some of those out so I could wash the containers out and everything. So I did not cook yesterday. Today is Wednesday. I had the day off because Isabella had early release from school. They get out at 1245 on those days. So I got so much stuff done today. I am very proud of myself. I 
finished up my um, CEUs for my license and for my therapy license. And I also went ahead and renewed my license. I got that all done today. This is the longest I have ever waited to finish up my CEUs. <laughs> it's crazy because our license run out uh, at the end of this month, November. So I got that finished up. And then I went and picked Amelia, not Amelia, um, Isabella. Went and picked Isabella up and then I needed to go get my oil changed in the car. It was way past due. If you guys are new to my channel, I do physical therapy in the home health field setting. So I do a ton of driving and I always meet the mileage for an oil change way before it's due. And so I had to go get that done. Um, and that took a little while because they said that my radiator's leaking, but I don't think it is. I think it's from where we had to change out the alternator. And to get to that, you had to take the radiator hose off. And when you did that, some of the um, antifreeze spilled out. And I really think that's what it was because I don't have, I park in my garage and there's nothing leaking out. And as much as I drive, I would be overheating by now. <laughs> so I don't think that I'm, I have a leak, but anyway, so I didn't get that fixed, obviously. It is now, I don't know what time it is. I'm looking at my stove and microwave. The power glitched yesterday and I guess we didn't set the time or maybe it glitched today, I don't know. Um, I think it is, hello, I have a watch on. It is six o'clock in the afternoon, in the afternoon, in the evening. So I'm gonna go ahead and get dinner done or get dinner started, but on days that I have off, I like to fix a better meal, not something that's really quick and easy. So this meal is going to take a little extra time. So let me show you what I'm gonna fix. We are having pork tenderloin, and I had printed out a recipe because when I looked out in the freezer, I just saw a bag that said pork tenderloin. So I was like, oh, I'll make this recipe. But then when I got it to thaw it out, it's already seasoned. This is from Costco. I have this in a grocery haul from Costco. I'll link it at the top here. And I remember having these and they were pretty good. So I'm gonna go ahead and fix them. I don't get to try my recipe out, but that's okay. Uh, then we're gonna have some broccoli and cauliflower. I'm gonna steam these a little bit and then put some queso on top. And then we're gonna have scalloped potatoes. And this recipe is actually from a vintage uh, cookbook and I got it from Jen Chapin. If you guys do not follow her, you must. She is phenomenal in the kitchen. I love her channel. She is just absolutely wonderful. And she had done a video where her entire meal she prepared from this vintage cookbook. It's a Better Homes and Garden cookbook. So her scallop potatoes looked amazing. And while I am keto, I'm not gonna have any of the, the potatoes. I won't lie, I will try a bite. So I'm gonna be honest, I will try a bite, but I'm not gonna have like a big serving or anything. So what you need for this recipe, let me get it here so I can read it. You need six medium potatoes. And as you can see, mine are starting to grow eyes. So I need to get my potatoes used up. You need three tablespoons of butter, two tablespoons of flour, three cups of milk, one teaspoon of salt, and a quarter teaspoon of pepper, and I just mixed it all in together. And then you'll need a quarter, I'm sorry, a tablespoon of chopped onion. And, oh, I forgot my shredded uh, sharp cheddar cheese which is optional, but you can't have scalloped potatoes without cheese, right? So I need to get that out of the refrigerator. So let's go ahead and get this started. And I thought that my Ninja had an attachment that would slice the potatoes really thin, but it doesn't. It, has, it came with a spiralizer, but that's not gonna do me any good. I bet, you know what? I bet I could still use it and do like the fettuccine maybe. Hmm, I don't know. I'll cut one in half and see how it works. <laughs> so let's go ahead and get started on this meal. I cannot wait. I'm going to bake these in a dish. I wanted to mention that 
When I'm doing potatoes, if it's a recipe where I'm gonna be peeling the peel off anyways, I don't wash them beforehand. I go ahead and use my little vegetable peeler and peel the skins off, and then I will wash them uh, just under some cold running water. I'm just gonna cover this with aluminum foil and pop it in the oven and let it bake until it is done. I'm not sure exactly how long it'll take. The oven is preheating to 350 degrees. Okay, my potatoes have been peeled and washed. I'm going to try it in this. This is a, the ribbon is what it was called. So I'm gonna try it and see if it'll work. I think it will, it's gonna do like a ribbon, but I can cut those in half ever so often, if that makes sense. Does that make sense? Okay, so let's try it. Oh, perfect. See, I can just cut those. Perfect. Yep, we'll use this. It'll go much, much quicker. So you want to spray your pan and then put half of the layers. I still have one more potato to do. Not half of your layers, half of your potatoes. Oh, I can't talk sometimes. I'm not even going to cut them in half because some of it is shredded and some, not shredded, but sliced and some's ribbon. Once they cook and you cut into it with a spoon, it's gonna be fine. Okay, so I have another bowl of the potatoes sliced thin. want to do now is cook the flour and the butter together in a saucepan, add your milk and your salt and pepper, cook it until it's thickened, and then add the cheese. And then you're going to take that sauce and spread half of it over the one layer of potatoes, and then put the other layer of potatoes on, and then spread the rest of the sauce over top, and then sprinkle with parsley, and voila, it's done. I'm gonna put it in the oven. And again, the oven is set at 350 degrees. I'm gonna pop these in there, let them cook until they're cooked through. And then I'll remove the foil and return it back to the oven so the tops of it can brown. And I may sprinkle a little more cheese on it and a little bit of parsley. While everything is baking, I'm gonna go ahead and make my steamed veggies. I have about half a pot of water and I got the water on high so it'll start boiling. And then I have my uh, veggies in a little steamer basket and it just sits on top and then I'll put the lid on it. And while that is steaming, I'm going to use this sauce, but as you can see, it's almost gone. So I'm gonna make up a little bit more. I'm just gonna put this in a little um, kittle and add some more cheese and a little bit of milk and make some more to go over top of the veggies. I'm just using heavy cream. I was gonna do milk, but then I was like, no, I gotta keep it keto, so I'm using heavy cream. When you do this, you just wanna keep stirring it so it doesn't like burn on the bottom. And I have it on just a little under medium heat. Go ahead and turn it down all the way to low just to keep it warm. So the potatoes are pretty much done. They look and smell amazing. I'm gonna put them back in the oven and let the tops of them get brown and then it'll be dinner time. I am so excited for this meal. This is what the tenderloins look like and my veggies are steamed. 
Yummy, yummy. Get in my tummy. Look at that. Mmm. Here they are. Look how good they look. Oh my goodness. I can't wait to try a bite. Yummy. So what do you think of the scalloped potatoes? They were very good. Very good. What about the pork and how about the cheese sauce? That was very good as well. That was. Yes. What'd you like? Did you like it, Belle? Mm-hmm. My favorite was the watermelon. The watermelon. Yeah, the kids wanted watermelon, so they had watermelon for dessert. Did you like it, Yummy? She's yeah. hiding under the table. Did you like the food? Yeah. Did you eat the potatoes? Did you did you try the potatoes? I tried a teeny tiny little bite. Did you like it? <laughs> it was good, huh? I didn't really, I didn't really care about them. You didn't care about them, girl? Are you my kid? <laughs> <laughs> All right, guys, that wraps up another night of dinner. I will see you back here tomorrow. It is Thursday night and tonight we are having chicken avocado salad. It's a new recipe to me and I will link all of the new recipes and everything down in the description. What you're going to need is one whole chicken, rotisserie chicken deboned, uh, some Roma tomatoes, avocados, three tablespoons of either lemon or lime juice, some olive oil, and cucumbers and this is english cucumbers that i have i had prepped this earlier in the week you also need a quarter of a red onion chopped This is a really quick and easy recipe. Basically what you're gonna do is chop all of your produce up. You're going to shred the chicken and then just mix it all together. Once it's all mixed together, you'll pour on the lemon juice and the olive oil, add your salt and pepper, and again, mix it all up. This poor avocado was not the greatest. <laughs> I was hoping that I could use it, but it just had too many bad spots in it and the bad spots went too deep. So luckily I had an extra avocado and the other two avocados were really good. I wasn't really impressed with this recipe. To be honest, my husband liked it. He put some more pepper. I just thought it was missing something. So I added a little bit of an olive garden dressing and it still, it just didn't, I don't know. It just didn't taste as good as I thought that it should. Hey guys, welcome back to another dinner. It is Saturday night and we had a busy day today. We had soccer pictures this morning and then a soccer game. And then we went to Home Depot and got a few things. 
but tonight my husband is cooking dinner. If you guys saw my last um, grocery haul, he is going to be making the salmon on the cedar wood planks. I could not remember the name of it to save my life the other day when I was doing the grocery haul, but it's cedar wood planks that you put on the grill. So that's how he's gonna be doing the salmon. And I have rice going in the Instant Pot. And don't mind my sink full of dirty dishes. We didn't have time to do them before we left. So there is the cedar plank, cedar wood gourmet grilling plank. And he has the salmon already thawed out. So the salmon is from Butcher Box. If you don't know what Butcher Box is, it's a company that you order either a big box or a small box of meat and it's grass fed beef. Um, just good wild salmon, just really good meat. And I have a coupon code down in my description box that you can get $30 off of your very first box, which is a really good deal because I didn't even get that good of a deal when I ordered my first box. So definitely check it out. Check out the link below. If you order, you get $30 off of your first box. I do get a $30 credit but when you order, you will get your own code that you can share with your friends as well so that you can earn $30 as well. So it's a win-win um, situation here. So I will show you all the food after it's all done and plate it up. So for the kids, I fixed chicken nuggets in the air fryer and they had rice and an orange. Is it good, Emmy? They're both watching their iPads, which are getting ready to be turned off. Uh-huh, we can have dinner. It's so loud in here. Football's on, iPad's going. And here is our dinner. This is mine. I decided to go ahead and steam some broccoli and cauliflower and I put the nacho cheese sauce that I made earlier in the week. Look at that salmon, how pretty. Mmm. I'm not a huge salmon fan, but my husband makes it really good. And this is his plate. And he also wanted some mozzarella sticks, so I made these in the air fryer. The salmon is really good. It doesn't have a salmon-y, fishy taste to it at all. But doing it on the cedar plank really helps with that. What spices did you put on it? Kosher salt, a little bit of pepper. So we put kosher salt, pepper, and he used my Swerve brown sugar. Yeah, just to add a little sweetness. And, and a little oh, bit of soy sauce. Yeah, a touch of soy a sauce. A touch of soy sauce. It is really, really good. Okay, guys, I hope you guys enjoyed this What's for Dinner. I will see you next week. Leave me a thumbs up if you don't mind. If you like this video, don't forget to hit the subscribe button. Tap on the bell so you don't miss any of my videos. And I'll see you in the next one. Thanks for watching. Bye.